Uh, I'm here. I'm Jesse. Jesse is in the house because this with this weekend's gonna be a big ass week, and this weekend's gonna be a big ass weekend for videos on this channel. Now I'm not saying one a day. Well, yeah, kind of one video a day, but today, tonight, I'm making my Fantastic Beasts review. Or well, right now, I'm making my Fantastic Beasts review. Then tomorrow, I'm going to do my American Horror Story Freak Show review, which is long overdue. I'm actually nearly finished Hotel, and then I go on to Roanoke. So that review of Freak Show will be coming tomorrow. <coughs> Pardon me. On Sunday, though, you're going to have two videos. That's right. A DVD update and a Bad Santa 2 review. Yep. Big weekend, but for now we're just reviewing Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry I haven't been making a video every day like I usually do. Had a chest infection for the last few days, so I'm very sorry if I kind of cough and, <coughs> you know, clear my throat uh, in this video. But who cares? This uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them is the very new Harry Potter prequel. It takes place 40 years before the events of Harry Potter. This movie is about Newt Scamander. He's a wizard. And he comes into New York from London, I think it's from London, with this suitcase that's full of fantastic beasts. Lots of mysterious creatures. Some stuff you'd probably find in the Harry Potter movie, obviously. And then he, uh, these creatures basically get loose. He meets and um, he meets the... So, no, not, not, not necessarily. The creatures don't really, you know, become... They don't really get out of the suit. Like, a few of them do, but that's not the big thing throughout this movie. The big thing throughout this movie is Newt Scamander, Jacob Kowalowski, um, and a couple other girls, sorry if you got the names, taking down Colin Farrell and Credence, uh, played by the guy who's going to play the new Flash. Um, for reasons I'm not going to spoil. This movie is enjoyable. I could say that, yeah, it's an enjoyable movie. There's nothing too special though. I feel this movie could have been better. You can say, you could actually say I was very, I was kind of disappointed with Fantastic Beasts and Way to Find Them. This movie does look good in 3D, but nothing new. Like, it does, it look, it looks good in 3D. But, you know, there's nothing, you know, too special, you know? Um, nothing, nothing that you wouldn't expect, anyway. Now, that's a big problem with this movie. Nothing in this movie, like, every, every, like, this movie is like, um, I don't know, it's like, it's not predictable, but it is, but it is at the same time, you know? Like, it's not predictable, but somehow it's still unpredictable. Like, it's kind of both, I guess. It's a bit complicated. Speaking of complicated, this movie is very complicated. Um, lots of stuff goes down that I didn't quite understand. Like, it has happened with many movies where I don't understand what's going on. But with this movie, I don't know. I just did not understand too much. Um, look, I, like, you've, you're probably thinking I hate this movie. It's probably, it's probably, sorry, it's what you're probably thinking. I didn't hate this movie. I love Eddie Redmayne in this movie. I love Jacob Kowalowski. All the characters I love. The look of this movie is really cool. I reckon I could have had more of a Harry Potter feel though. If if, if some scenes took place in, um, what do you call it, Hogwarts, that would have been awesome. There was a rumour that there was going to be a young Dumbledore in the film. That would have been so great to have in the movie. Um, but look, the, vis the visual effects are great. The movie is a bit messy. There are pacing errors um, throughout that I thought were a bit eh. Like, you know, stuff. lots of stuff doesn't suit. It doesn't quite fit in. Just a few pacing errors. That happens with every movie um, in, in our days. You know, there's, some t there's lots of pacing errors. Nothing new there. For the most part, I did enjoy this movie. Had a good plot. Could have done much more with the actual... Um, plot, but 
what they did was okay, I guess. Colin Farrell was an alright villain. Credence, um, like I said, who's played by the new Flash. That guy was kind of creepy and kind of menacing, but he was a bit too dull and his haircut was really bad. So, so yeah. I'm going to give this movie a, um, a 6.8. Alright movie, not too great. Could have been way better. I reckon it was... Just all the hype wasn't too necessary, but like I said, 6.8, didn't hate it, didn't love it, could have been way better, could have had way more of a Harry Potter feel. There were multiple scenes where I actually forgot that this was a Harry Potter prequel. Like, it's good to, that it stands alone, but at least have a Harry Potter feel throughout, and I didn't actually get that, so that's kind of disappointing. But it was still okay. So thank you for watching this review, everyone. Sorry if my words were kind of, you couldn't understand a few words I said. I have a bit of a, I've lost my voice a bit, um, and I have a bit of a chest infection. It's from all the heat that's coming around Melbourne right now. Actually, you know what, it's actually, it was actually really cold today, you know, it was like, it was like friggin' hot, it was like Black Saturday yesterday, and now Cyclone Tracy today, like that's what it's like. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna have an American Horror Story Freak Show review. Then on Sunday, I'm going to have a Bad Santa 2 review and a DVD update, uh, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.